For today's video, we're going to get some gameplay with the new Staccato Shadow, which is currently available in the weekly store for 1680 gold. And before I show the perks on it, I do want to quickly scroll over everything in the weekly store for those who haven't seen it. And here's what it looks like up close. And if you're listening to this tape, you're one of the reasons why. It sort of has a cassette player as well as some cassettes at the bottom and some speakers at the front of it. But this is what it looks like. And the perks that came with it were impact, reload speed, physical damage, crit damage, damage to dancing enemies. And whenever you stun or knock back an enemy with this weapon, it'll cause that enemy and nearby enemies to dance for a short duration, but that doesn't affect missed monsters or bosses or enemies who have recently been dancing. And at the very bottom it says shotgun boombox, automatic piercing shotgun with a high capacity, impact and rate of fire. All right, so we just maxed it out and I only had enough re-perk to change the element to energy and we also changed this last one to crit damage. And for our loadout, we're gonna test it while using Buckshot Raptor because he increases our shotgun crit damage. And we're also gonna try it with the totally rocking out team perk. And for our support team, we have Skull Trooper Jonesy, Shrapnel Headhunter, Main Stage Quinn, Rex Jonesy, and Breakbeat Wildcat. And the mission we're gonna do is this power level 132 retrieve the data, and Long Range is gonna be helping us out. <laughs> oh, oh, what was that? My sister, my sister, huh? Yeah, what wow. was that noise? Yeah, I'm pick it up. That's what I heard. <laughs> what the hell? So that's what it sounds like when you pick it up. But before we get into the gameplay, I do want to test it out. And first, we're going to start off with this power level 132 smasher. Bring that ass here, boy. With our current loadout, we have a total of 15 rounds in the magazine, and it uses shotgun shells. And it took us a total of 10 shots to kill him. Next up, let's try it out against this blaster. It only took us four shots to kill him. And it only took us three shots to kill him. I also want to test it against an elemental smasher as well. And we were able to kill him within just one magazine. Let's try to get rid of, oh, this is like an automatic party starter right here, man. Cause the impact is pretty decent. Plus we have an impact perk on it. So as soon as you shoot them, they just start dancing right away. That looks oh yeah i can see like little rainbows so i guess i'll go ahead and show the fire rate while we're at it and i'm just gonna hold down the trigger it also makes like a little sound when you shoot it and that's what the reload looks like takes about a second so the reload is pretty quick with the reload speed perk on it Oh, what? Do you see the sun? What happened? The sun went. Looking at. Pew! Let's see if I can shoot him from back here. Nope. Let's try right here. Oh, okay. So the range is within one, two, three, four, five tiles. I also want to see if it causes propanes to explode. So let's kill this dude first. Oh, it made him drop it. Oh, and it did explode. I didn't think it. Oh, so just to double check and make sure that they do explode, let's go ahead and shoot these real quick. Oh, yep. So unlike a lot of other boombox weapons, this one will cause propanes to explode. I guess I'll go ahead and see if it penetrates through the shield or shield, and it doesn't look like it does. Oh my God! Shout out, lion! All right, here we go, people. Looks like they're coming from the south and the east. I'll go ahead and watch the south if you want to take the east. Okay. Uh, we do have two defenders helping us out, and they're also using. What is this thing called? The new shotgun as well. And long range, you're using it too, right? That's right. Yes, sir. So everybody's going to be using it. Which may not be a good idea because if we get exploders, the defenders are gonna set it off. But we're gonna go ahead and try it out anyway. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my first slow field over here. There we go. Uh, we don't have a mini boss on this one either, or any modifiers. So let's go ahead and try to kill them before they go in our tunnel. Data's looking good. 
Uh, what is this thing called, Long Branch? I forgot what it's called. This thing is called the what is it called? <laughs> it's staccato called the shadow. St staccato, yeah, shadow. There it is. <laughs> staccato shadow. Oh wait, what, wait, what did I just say? Yeah, that's staccato it. Staccato shadow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Another file. So when it comes to staccato shadow, it feels like it's probably one of the best weapons when it comes to making us dance. Especially with an impact perk on it because we're constantly knocking them back and stunning them and it's very easy to make them dance also really like the fire rate and the reload speed as well File successfully retrieved. I don't know I'll take a staccato macchiato <laughs> on the rocks please the only things I don't like about it, though, are the fact that it makes propanes explode. Like, if you compare that to the Woofer, which is another boombox shotgun, that one doesn't cause them to explode, but this one does. And it also doesn't feel like we're dealing as much damage compared to some other shotguns. So, you're probably going to be using more ammo with this one compared to other shotties. But I think it's really going to be useful if you have a lot of husk attacking a wall around your base. You can just go ahead and shoot one of them and they all should start dancing right away. So I think that's probably like the best thing I like about it is that it's really easy to make husk dance with it. Uh, we haven't tried the woofer out yet though i think we'll review that one next and we'll compare that one with this one see which one is better but like they mentioned in the patch notes the woofer no longer causes propane tanks to explode as well as a few other weapons but we'll compare them when we review the woofer next I don't even think they changed spawns yet. Uh, yeah, they did. They're coming from the north side. I blocked it off so oh, they could okay, walk yep. through the little tunnel. I see them now. It's like they're all coming from this the north now. just to stall them. It, it seems like it's working Call very well. The first sound wall is there to um, knock off the propane if there's any. And then they walk through the uh, the tire traps. And then the, the wall pushes, just pushes Sorry, them back. I think we got propane spawning in, so hopefully our defenders don't destroy everything here. Yeah, it seems like the propane are getting they're getting knocked off before they could even make it out here. Every bit helps. Data's looking good. But yeah, for those of you who have tried this staccato, uh, let me know what y'all think about it, and let me know what kind of perks you all put on it. At first I thought maybe we should put two impact perks on it just so we can make them dance even more, but I kind of feel like one impact perk is enough because we're making them dance a lot with just one. What? I gave mm -hmm. you 300 rounds, dude. Oh, this thing eats yeah, the, through ammo. The defenders are definitely eating it up right now. Oh man, like he had 300 and I had, I'm eating through ammo too though. I can't even talk bad about them because I'm doing the same thing. So yeah, th this gun definitely eats through ammo, people. Especially if you use them with the defenders as well. I don't think it's going to be a weapon I would recommend for defenders, though. Since it causes propanes to explode. And, and like I said earlier, the range is only five tiles, so they may just end up wasting ammo shooting the targets that are far away like that right there stop wasting my ammo man <laughs> so yeah i don't think i would consider this to be like one of the best shotguns in the game 
like I said, I do think it'll be useful if you have like a lot of husk attacking your walls though. You just pull it out, shoot a couple of them until they all dance and then you can switch back to another weapon. But yeah, this is an ammo eater, people. You collected some of the files. All right. All right, so we ended up getting a level three loot chest with some people, gold, epic perk up, and schematic XP. All right, well, that'll do it for our first Takato Shadow gameplay. Big shout out to Long Range for helping us out. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.